Yeah, so we'll sign in. Now, um, I'm not sure what the uh, AOL 3.0 interface or the GUI looked like for this particular stage, but I found what America Online 4 looked like in the database. So you have the option, you can either, uh, if you already have an account, you use this one, you just put your name and password, they'll log you in. This one does the uh, registration number and password. Back in the day, AOL would release the floppy disks installers, right? And they would have a registration number and a password that you would use to log in. So I simulated that. So I have one here. You click next. Okay, so that works. Now it's asking for a screen name, so we'll just go Cheese. My name is Cheese. Let's click next. All right, that was good. So type in a pax password. Welcome. Good. All right, we're in. And you can see in the bottom window, in the VS Code window, that we do have interaction going on. You can see it all going by there. Okay, so the screen looks pretty blank, pretty bare. Um, these are just placeholder holders at the moment. They will be filled eventually. Uh, what's hot? Like anything that doesn't work, you'll get this little sort of pop up letting you know that it doesn't work. Here, I do have a clock which basically logs uh, the time that you logged in and it keeps track of how long every time you click it. Uh, the only downside right now is that it's not localized, so it's based on server times, which is CST channels, but everything in it except for this BBS board because that one's already in the, when you install AOL for the first time it's already in the database so but none of it works like you try clicking it you can't you can't get anywhere because it, it's not functional at this time um yeah so people connection kinda kinda works I don't know I don't recall what what it looked like when you actually clicked on people connection. I don't know if it went directly to this to this little dialog window here or if it opened up something else where you could kind of search through certain areas of the online community uh, chat windows. So until I find that out, I'm just going to use this here and I have some pre-configured channels already. Oh, oh any of them that have a, a one by it means there is a user in there and that's the server. These are all, all the ones that have the one are all um, your generic channels. Um, you can click list people and it will show you. You can message that person. Instant messages do work, but I'll not, I'll not show them today in this video. You can get the profile of that user and you can try to locate that user. Oh, look at a bug. All right, cool. I'll fix that. Um, you can try to create a room. Again, I don't know what the interface looked like for this step, so I just created my own. Uh, public, private. With private, you have option to password it or select invite only, which kind of removes the password option. Invisible thing. They have the same options. Uh, the difference between private and invisible is that with private, your your channel still shows up in this list, so people can still see it. With invisible, it's not supposed to show up in the list, so it, that's not quite set up at this time yet. But you can create rooms, so we'll just create a, a quick room. We'll call it uh, Hello Man. Great. There. Now we have our own little room. Uh, so if we were to close this and open it back up, we would see it in there. Hello, man. List. Cheese is in there. Does cheese have any info? No. Where is he? Oh, look it. I found myself. <laughs> You open the door to the room and find yourself playing amongst the fallen leaves in the far back corner. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, so chat rooms do work. 
100 percent uh except i don't have another um client connected right now so to demonstrate but they, it does work it does work next video will be that uh, so yes, we'll close, we'll close, and what else is in the buddy list window works, but uh, the default, default is buddy list, but you can change that, you can modify it, uh, again, I have no idea, I cannot remember what the setup part of this looked like, uh, so you can modify, so we can add somebody, select you, and so anyway, we'll click OK, um, and if you notice, you notice there's now a two, two up there where it was zero before. So now I have two buddies. So I can modify and I see them. I can create another one called Jerks. And we'll put uh, A S D F G H because that guy's a jerk. I don't like him. And now you see it's updated on the buddy window. Now it has jerks. You can delete, remove it. Uh, you don't need to have the default buddies. You can delete that and create your own called bros. And we'll just put these guys back on. Slap you in. Bros. Clicking. Now we got bros up there. Um, member directory. Uh, I just finished the FDO for this. It's actually supposed to have a purple background behind between all these to separate them, except I couldn't get it to work properly with uh, through FDO. So I'm, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong, but eventually I'll get that fixed. Um, and I am using this uh, FDO editor here to do all my editing. So it is copyright 2000 America Online. So that's how I edit. Uh, so I'm quick search right now. Uh, you can send a search, but I don't have the code implemented yet at this time to actually. Uh, this My Profile button here is actually supposed to be like a pretty fancy uh, like image overlay type thing, but I couldn't find it in any of the databases I looked at it for the image, so it's a custom image. Uh, so I just made it a button, and to do my profile, you click it, and now you can create your own my file. So, what about mic, mail, age, 11, location here, so, and uh, you can see the interaction with VS Code in the back there. Basically tells you again keywords don't work, but I just put it there because eventually they will. Control G brings up the user case, so Control G. Type in the name. Jeez. Okay, so there, everything that I just typed in is now up there. Uh, anyways, this is uh, basically an exact replica of uh, what it's supposed to look like. Um, I kind of just uh, figured it out by, uh, you can email, it brings up the email with the name, uh, location, you know, because I'm looking for myself. <laughs> um, what's that? So let's log Goodbye. out. Goodbye. And we'll go guest account so you can see that guest account will works. Welcome. Uh, so guest accounts will have this opening dialogue at first their accounts are limited uh, what you're seeing on this is not final it's gonna change um, but yeah uh, guests can still go to channels browse the channels oh one thing I, I wanted to make plugs here is that uh, that all I have a lot of channels of uh, YouTube channels the guys that I watch all the time. So there's the 8-Bit Guy, Tech Link, Nostalgia Nerd, Network Chuck. I recommend you guys check all these guys out. They're all on YouTube. Linus Tech Tips, LGR, Dave's Garage. I watch Dave's Garage. I was actually in, I were born in the same city. Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, 
matter of fact, he probably went to work for Microsoft when I was in grade nine, grade nine or grade ten, high school. So, but anyways, yeah, he's from the same hometown. Uh, Craft Computing, Chris Titus Tech, Channel Twenty Six Hundred. So yeah, Adrian is digital based, and I really like that guy. He's got a very calming, relaxing voice, and I love the work that he does with uh, all of his old Vic Twenties and all his old computers and stuff, and his mechanics and stuff. He seems like such a good guy, a good guy. So I recommend him to you. Eight Bit Show and Tell. So these are just some of the guys that I I focus on watching all the time on YouTube. So there's Shout out to those guys. You guys gotta check them out. So let me use a sign one. I already have. So slap you password. Welcome. The You've got mail. And there you go. I got my email notification because I was testing. So if I go to so goodbye. Sign back in. Welcome. There you go. My name is slapped you back up there. You've got um, mail. Yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Um, I'm working on the BBS system. I'm working on emails. I'm trying to get all the content that I can going. I just need reference material, and a lot of my time is spent searching for images and stuff, but there's not a whole lot out there what I'm specifically looking for because so I know there's a lot of a lot of guys like myself like all this all our retro guys out there that would love to get back into this and do the old you know chat rooms and instant messages and stuff like that and I'm, I'm so excited to get this and I appreciate all the support from all you guys um, there's something else I wanted to say oh yeah the uh, the RE in the real stands for retro. However, any transient transient type verb, you know, that starts with RE is perfectly acceptable, like return to AOL or revive AOL, whatever you want to use. It, it's all fine and dandy. So yeah, next video will be uh, I'll show um, chat rooms. We'll do some chat room fiddling and we'll do some uh, instant messages so you guys can see that those actually work between clients so uh yeah thanks for uh thanks for sticking through these are i'm not a videoer so i have no idea what i'm doing no idea what i'm doing as far as programming goes uh i do want to say that i am just learning python i decided that like at the beginning of the year that i was going to learn python and I was going to learn it by creating this server, by back engineering the AOL server. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm learning Python and creating the server. So wish me luck. I hope uh, at some point you guys will come out and try it out. Um, also, uh, I will be uh, at some point starting a website and it, you'll have to register to get some keys or whatever. I mean, like the serial number and password. And it, the registration part is just so that I can associate the serial numbers to an email address or whatever in case like at some point you log in and you know you can't it crashes and then you can't get back in because your because your account is still logged in so I need some sort of way of doing that and I'll just associate it with uh, serial numbers and whatnot um, so yeah all right thanks for stopping by Laters.